Well, it's time now for our twice weekly In Focus Health Report. Health reporter Lino Mudu joins us now with some new information on vitamin A deficiencies. Lino. Hello, Vincent. Hello, everyone. Research published in the British Journal of Nutrition indicates the orange sweet potato can provide much needed vitamin A to the malnourished in impoverished communities. The recent study was conducted in Mozambique where scientists say vitamin A deficiency is very high. Worldwide, about 200 million people have vitamin A deficiencies. Dr. Murad Morsi is one of the authors of the study. Well, the role of vitamin A in child nutrition is really uh, specifically related to um, the eye. Uh, any, when people lack uh, vitamin A, when children lack vitamin A, it causes health problems with the eye. Okay, that could lead eventually to blindness. Uh, deficiency in vitamin A can also uh, weaken the immune system and that uh, causes more illness for children. Okay. Uh, for adults, like for children, there is also to avoid uh, blindness. Uh, to improve the immune system so uh, people are less sick. Uh, but it's also especially impor important during pregnancy with the development uh, of the child and all the uh, additional amount that's needed at that point uh, for, the ch for the development of the child. So in a general sense, where do you get vitamin A? You get it from uh, several food so uh, sources such as green leafy vegetables, uh, pumpkins, mangoes. Uh, but a lot of those are um, very seasonal, so not, they're not available all the time. And also what happens is that with some of the uh, cooking methods, the way foods are prepared, sometimes that leads to a high loss of uh, vitamin A. Uh, the good thing about uh, sweet orange sweet potato is that even when cooked, it still keeps a lot of its uh, vitamin A in there. Your group conducted a research with regards to reducing the risk of vitamin A deficiency mm -hmm. in children and women in Mozambique. Can you tell us about that research? The, this research was uh, mainly about increasing the, uh, the consumption of uh, orange fresh sweet potato. Uh, we provided uh, farmer groups with uh, vines, orange sweet potato vines, which are naturally more rich in vitamin A. And we uh, uh, provided training and encouragement in order for these groups to plant these vines and then uh, for both women and children to consume them. Sweet potato is, uh, is found in Mozambique, but it's the white and yellow. Why was it important to introduce the orange? It was important to introduce the orange because the white and yellow are uh, very poor in vitamin A, whereas the orange is very rich in vitamin A. And uh, it was important to introduce it specifically in that country because there, were, there was a very high level uh, of vitamin A deficiency among children, uh, it was close to 70%. Considering uh, this specific type of uh, sweet potato doesn't grow in the country, how did you approach this? The idea was to identify uh, varieties which are naturally uh, rich in vitamin A and then uh, through uh, classic conventional breeding methods um, adapt those uh, varieties to uh, the context of Mozambique and other countries and make sure that the, um, uh, the qualities that farmers uh, are looking for in those vines are also present, such as drought resistance or you know, the high yields. Give us uh, a better sense of the findings. What happened in our study is that we saw that people uh, actually substituted the uh, low vitamin A varieties, so the white and yellow sweet potato, with orange sweet potato. We were able, with our orange sweet potato, uh, to provide uh, de depending on age group, uh, anything that be between half of what's required daily to all what's required daily in terms of vitamin A. What do you think the, the long-term impact of these findings will be? What we hope for is uh, a better uh, health status for, for all the, the, the people involved in this. Uh, but also we're uh, trying to see whether it's possible to also uh, make a cash crop out of this uh, sweet potato so that people can not only consume it uh, and have a uh, better health status with it, but also try to sell it on the market and gain additional income from, uh, from selling it. And it seems that uh, this is possible. The orange sweet potato was conventionally bred to be rich in vitamin A. It was distributed as part of a Harvest Plus project to more than 10,000 households in Zambezia province in northern Mozambique. The vitamin A rich potato has also been introduced in other countries including Uganda, Ethiopia and Ghana.
And that's all, Vincent? Well, Lino, thanks a lot for those very informative tips on how to eat healthy and mostly our traditional foods in Africa. Sure. Well, viewer, remember to join uh, Lino Mudu every Tuesday and Thursday for the latest health news in Africa right here on In Focus.